Hi and welcome back. Or if you're new here, I'm Sarah and in these videos it's my mission to inspire your creativity. I absolutely love to make DIY gifts for my friends and family. So in this video I've put together 20 of my favourite and the best DIY air dry clay gifts. Make sure you watch till the end because there's lots of tips and tricks along the way. I know you're going to enjoy it so please come and join me. I'm using Das air dry clay as I find it's more durable than other brands that I've tried. Air dry clay should be lovely and soft and easy to work with and you can really enjoy yourself and make all sorts of creations but today I'm going to show you each one of my air dry clay gift ideas. Here I am taking a small section and can you see I'm turning this into a little bird. Most of the time our best tools are our hands and we can sculpt this really easily and use our fingers to pinch a little bird shape and then use your finger and a little bit of water to smooth out and then we can take something even as simple as a pencil and draw on some details. I'm going to make four of these birds as a family of four. Leave them to dry fully and then you can paint them if you wish. Once these are fully dry I'm going to frame them. I have an IKEA ribber frame here, I've just taken it apart and then I've printed out a family makes this house a home and I just simply did that on my computer. If I get enough comments below I can add this as a free printout if you would like to comment below. I have a lovely piece of driftwood that I found on the beach that I'm using as a little branch and then I'm simply going to add the four birds onto here. I will simply just glue them in place, use any glue that you have and then I will put the frame back together. This would make a really great new home gift or a gift for a friend or a family member. Family makes this house a home. It's so sweet and I would absolutely love to receive this as a gift. All of these air dry clay ideas are really simple, quick and easy to make. Here I have another where I just have a simple ball of air dry clay and I'm simply going to pinch it between my fingers like this and you can see I have some paper clips. We need some paper clips too of any size. So if you can see this, I'm pinching it into a little mushroom shape, but you can choose absolutely any shape you wish. And then we're simply going to take our paper clip and insert this into the top, and it's going to be a little photo holder. Once your little creation is fully dry, you can then go on and paint it, and I'm using some acrylic paints for this project. Out of a packet of clay you could really make so many of these in lots of different shapes and sizes. Add in some details with a fine brush and there you have it, a really wonderful gift and a lovely little picture holder. All these projects are really easy and affordable too. We're now going to make a DIY air dry clay sign. And the beauty of this, you can do absolutely any shape and any quote of your choice. And this one here is going to make a really great Father's Day gift. I've rolled my clay out to about a third of an inch in thickness and I'm simply taking this template that I made and simply going to cut it out. And here I'm just using a knife from the kitchen cupboard. Don't forget to knead together those cut-offs as we'll use them in the projects later in the video. You can cut some curved lines like this if you've got a wider blade like I have. Then we can smooth it all down. Once we've cut all that shape out, you can take a wet finger and smooth down until you've got the shape you want. And then I'm using my technique that I've done in some of my other videos. So you can transfer any design of your choice onto the clay. I'm using this technique as a guide and then I'll paint it on later so if you have a preferred way to transfer your image to the clay then use that way. I love this technique and it works really well for me so I do recommend you give it a go. In the description below I'll link the video where I describe this technique in full. 
I left my clay to dry fully on my tile and it's fully completely dry now and I'm taking some acrylic paint and I'll simply just paint over to get that strong depth of colour. With acrylic paint you typically have to do two or three layers of paint but I'm not going to go around all of this two or three times. So to get around this I'm doing a nice stippled effect. I'm giving the acrylic paint some texture and making that a feature. I really enjoyed painting this, I just listened to a podcast and enjoyed and relaxed painting it. I absolutely love the results and it's going to make a really fantastic gift, so I hope you make some too. If you would like to have a go at the transfer technique, then you can find that on my print on air dry clay video. And in this video I make these gorgeous bee items and they would make some really beautiful gifts as well including this really cute trinket dish. I know you'll love the technique and you'll be able to find so many uses for it on your air dry clay. So here I have a really small piece of air dry clay. I've rolled it into a small cylinder and I'm smoothing it out with a little bit of water and then I'm simply going to make it into a really tiny little vase, simply like this. Then here I have a magnet and we're simply going to make this into a little fridge magnet which can hold a little flower. Push the magnet in, you can always glue this on once it's fully dry. I've printed out some I love you text and simply transferring this on as before. I'll leave that to dry completely and then I can paint it. Once dry then you'd want to seal the outside of this. I've done a little video on how to waterproof your air dry clay vases so you could do that or you could simply just mod podge it or lacquer it and then put a little dried flower in or as I say add a little water if you waterproof it. Then pop it on your fridge or anywhere the magnet will stick to. Really beautiful for your kitchen. Another kitchen item you could make some little pegs and so I've cut out some shapes um, from the air dry clay and let them dry and I'm painting them and then I simply attach a little peg on the back and you can put all your little notes and things on these. These pins are from my Christmas pin video so you can use lots of the designs from there. Another really popular item of mine are these really cute trinket pots. I have a video on how to make them and how to paint them. You can really do absolutely any design, do lots of different sizes and they make absolutely adorable little gifts. So I'm sure you're crafty like me and like all things craft, we're now going to make an air dry clay paint palette and if you don't want it for yourself I'm sure you could find somebody that would absolutely love this gift. Roll out a big chunk of clay to maybe about a half an inch in thickness and we're simply going to shape it in any shape you like but I'm going to make this into a little house paint palette and I show you here you don't need a knife I'm simply using my ruler to cut it so if you think you don't have um, the tools to use then I'm sure you can replicate them in some way like with this ruler and you get a really lovely clean cut. So for the little wells for the paint I'm using these blocks and I'm simply just going to push down and form the little wells. You can do yours round, triangular or any shape you wish. Just make sure they're the size you'd want them for your paint palette. This is a really fun project, you can just do absolutely any design you like, add lots of details in and really make it lots of fun. Smooth everything out so you've got some nice wells to add your paint into later. And so to go with this paint palette of course we need a nice brush stand. We've got a thick section of clay here that's able to stand up on its own and again I'm going to use the ruler and cut in my shapes and add in any extra details with anything else you might have on your desk. And these are turning out so cute that I might actually have to gift them to myself. Once fully dry you can paint them however you wish. Here I just have some of my acrylic paints 
and I'll give them two or three coats and they're looking stunning, they really are. Just make sure you coat everything in some sealant and the paint palette will need to make sure you've got something like some polyurethane varnish all over it to make sure it's waterproof. With lots of my air dry clay projects I like to make templates so that I can use them to duplicate the item and make sure I get them as similar as I can throughout the projects. So I simply just draw out some designs and with this one, see if you can have a guess what this little project is going to be. It's a really favourite of mine and it's a lot of fun. So simply just draw out a template like this on your paper and then we can cut it out and use this. Or if you can't draw, of course, you can just print something out on the internet and use that. I'm going to roll a chunk of the clay out to approximately a third to a half an inch in thickness. And to cut this out, to show that you don't need anything special again, I have a paper clip here and I've simply unwound it a little bit and we can use that as our little knife. And you just go round the edge there, right through to the tile, and I find that cuts these sorts of shapes out really well. When cutting with a blunt item like this, take the template off, and then rather than dragging your finger around the edge, just press the edge in and you'll get a nice smooth edge that way. Smooth everything out completely, then take a straw and we're going to cut a little hole in the base here. Can you guess what we're making yet? If you do like my videos, please do make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button because I really do love making videos for you. Take some water and smooth everything out on the front and the back of all your little cats. If anybody does want the template for this, please also do comment below. And so for this one, we need our trusty paper clips again. This time I'm cutting one in half and then I've inserted it as a little hanger at the top there. With all your air dry clay projects, once they're completely fully dry, you can take some really fine sandpaper and sand out any imperfections. I tend to do this outside in the garden. Take the paints of your choice and add some details. And here I'm going to make two very cute cats and of course I'm going to go away and make some more. Have you guessed what they are yet? Well, it's to solve this mess of all your embroidery flosses and threads getting all tangled up. Yes, they're really cute little embroidery bobbins. And I'm so in love with how these have turned out, I can't wait to make some more. A really useful gift would be a mobile phone holder. And so we can make one out of our air dry clay. I've rolled this piece of clay to about six inches in length and you can do yours to any dimensions you wish and then we simply need to do like a little S shape and fold this and then we'll leave it to dry and first of all though we want to make sure that your mobile actually fits in the gap and that it's at the correct angle and it's going to hold that phone up. You can see the shape that I've created here, I've just done it by eye and I'm sure you can recreate this too. So once you're happy with where it is, set something there and let it hold in place. My little phone holder is now fully dry and I've given it a really good sand and got rid of all those little creases from folding the clay and it looks beautiful just like this or you can paint it in any way you wish. And I've done a nice little mottled marble effect with my acrylic paint there and then I've given it a nice lacquer and spray varnish and I really love this one. What a great gift and something that people would actually want and use. Another practical gift is a pack of drinks coasters and so you can choose any design and shape you wish. Here I'm just using a cup as my template and these are going to be some small rainbow coasters. Once they're fully painted and dry, just make sure you seal them really well. I'll probably coat mine in polyurethane varnish, just to make sure none of the moisture can get in there. For this next one, I'm going to make a keychain, and I've taken my block printing kit, and simply, so I have some lino, and then I've carved it with these tools, 
and they make great imprints for your air dry clay and so I simply have a little chunk of clay there nicely neatly rounded off and then I compress my lino and my block print into the clay make sure it's fully printed down and then you can set that to dry and I'm using my trusty paper clips once more and adding them in for the keychain to attach to and then I simply have taken once it's fully dry some acrylic paint on my paintbrush and then dry brush this over the top once it's dry to enhance that relief even more. I absolutely love block printing and it's a great way to get that imprint and repeat and do plenty of them all the same so it's a great technique to use with your air dry clay. I dry brush this with two colours and then I also made another little cat key ring as well. Do let me know which is your favourite project so far in the comments below, I would love to hear. And which project you're going to make first. I get asked quite a bit if you can make air dry clay jewellery, and yes you can, I just wouldn't make them too delicate. And in this video about air dry clay jewellery I did a few nice little pieces, including this one, and I hope you'll give some of them a go. This item of jewellery is completely unique because you can paint it in any way you wish and I really do love mine and it really would make a great gift. I'm sure you could find someone that would absolutely love something like this that you made for them. How about making some air dry clay earrings? This little project here is super easy and super quick and simple but really quite effective. All you need is a couple of cookie cutters and simply cut some little moon shapes out just like this. You can go on and decorate them however you wish and of course you could do absolutely any shape you wish. Just don't have um, any bits that are too delicate and might snap off. I've done this quite a good thickness and so you wouldn't want anything any more delicate than this. I've inserted some eyelet pins to attach the earrings to. And then once it's all dry you can attach them together and they really are beautiful. Something that makes a really lovely gift is a pin or a badge and of course you can make these out of air dry clay. I did a cute little video with these in so I do hope you go and have a look. I'll put the link to the video in the description below. And that little fox there reminded me who wouldn't love a fox planter as well? These are really cute to make and a little bit easier than you think, just starting from a plastic bottle and then the clay. So I do hope you give those a go as well. I'm now making a really cute pen holder, a pen or pencil holder. So again, you'll need a nice chunk of clay. and We're just going to roll this out quite thickly and shape it into a little bit of a hedgehog shape, although you can do yours any shape, as always, you could just keep it round, but mine's going to be a little hedgehog. I kneaded this clay really quite well, and so I've got it all over my hands now, and I do recommend, after a little while, make sure you keep washing them, otherwise those little bits of dry clay come out and go onto your clay and make a bit of a mess, so you do need to try and clean your hands up. So here I have my hedgehog shape and a large straw and I'm simply going to cut out as many holes as I can from the back and the body of my hedgehog. This is where the pens will or pencils will sit so just make sure you cut the hole appropriately for the size. Take a small bowl or similar and we're going to mould this over there to give us our hedgehog shape. So simply place this over and then you can smooth everything out until you're happy with it and let it fully dry and then you can sand it down and you can paint it as you wish and I think that looks stunning and what a lovely gift that would be for anybody that loves to draw, sketch or a child or anything like that. I also love to hold my pens and my paintbrushes and things in my air dry clay pot that I made and you can find the tutorial on how I made this and I also made it from recycled clay so in another of the videos I show you how to recycle any of your unwanted air dry clay 
I have many other air dry clay vase videos as well for you to go and see. If you love to make air dry clay vases, maybe you would like to make something